He copied my whole f***ing flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! Oh, Don't act shit. like I didn't- Yo dudes, you do that, your friendly neighbor Jack Split is back, and let's talk about that solo leveling training scene. So for years, people have just been saying, Jack, you gotta check out solo leveling, Jack, you gotta check out solo leveling. And I see why! Because it was bar for bar my boy's workout. And I was just like, just with boosted isekai stats, and I was like, Okay, okay, uh, let's see where this goes. So I have some words, but also some notes. But his first training episode emphasized something that I've been saying for years on this channel. Cardio is king. Do not skip out on cardio. And like I've said it before, like now I've got a new thing to add to the arsenal of why I never skip cardio. Number one was this, number two was this, number three was this, and now number four was this. God forbid something like that ever happened, but I know it's impossible. But I think it's just absolutely hilarious that if you don't do your workout, well, you're gonna get punished and this is your punishment you gotta have stamina so our boy already had incredible stamina because do y'all realize how much like stamina and cardiovascular endurance it would take to actually run for four hours non-stop from a wild animal or wild creature trying to kill you or eat you any freaking regard that is so freaking insane especially with all the cortisol and adrenaline pumping through you you'd be gassed out within 30 minutes like ideally and so it's just like what the hell my dude like this dude was already freaking busted I don't care what anyone says, he was already busted for that stamina feat alone. It just had me cracking up because like, you know, so many people these days are just like, yo bro, I want to look like Toji Fujigoro, right? Like I want to get all like the freaking snow bunnies and black queens and all that jazz looking like this. But then when it comes to cardio, it's just like... <laughs> Okay, I'm just teasing, but do seriously take time to focus on your heart and lungs and VO2 max. Like, that will just do so much for your overall health and overall fitness in the long run if you focus on it. And again, if you're interested in looking like Toji, got an entire workout plan that details it entirely for you, even put some cardio stuff in there to make it more fun for you. So definitely check that out. But another thing was the fact that he instantly heals after training. I just think that is just absolutely brilliant. So the fact that you can just go like, oh, I did all of Saitama's workout and then I just magically recover which is one of those situations where you look at it and go yeah that would be such a game changer because again it's as one of those situations where I am such a big proponent of like oh if senzu beans were real and like, we could take anything from Dragon Ball because I saw this post that was like oh what would you prefer be real the hyperbolic time chamber the gravity chamber um a weighted clothing like DBZ has or senzu beans it's just like senzu beans easy because like all that other stuff would actually do more harm than good to you in the long run just to your joints tendons and all that jazz but a senzu bean right after workout pop no injuries, no inflammation, nothing overused, nothing overstimulated or done in a way where it's like, oh crap, I wasn't like I'm well rested, oh crap, I did this form wrong, I can just do it. Like Senzu Beans, absolutely immaculate. And the fact that he is pretty much getting a Senzu Bean right after his workout, that is so cool. And I know once this episode dropped, so many people got that fire under them like, oh, I can do that challenge and they're gonna start doing this just like they did the One Punch Man challenge all those years ago. And then like, you remember all those videos of people doing before and afters of like me doing the Saitama's routine for this many days and stuff like that. And some people got great results, but some people also got really injured because again, if you were just doing push-ups, but you are not doing any rear delt work, you can really F up your shoulders, all right? That's just one of the little things. But the same thing with like a bunch of sit-ups. If you're just doing a bunch of sit-ups, but you're not working the the core in general, like you're not hitting your lower back or like the trunk or any things like that, you can hurt your lower back as well. And if you're just running every day, but you don't have like, you know, good form and you're not taking care of your knees and you're not recovering properly, you can hurt your knees. All right. I say this to you as someone who cares about you. I don't want you to get hurt from overuse injuries. They suck and there's so much better ways to train and implement them. I actually did an entire video here talking about how to implement the routine and make it just a better routine. All right. So if y'all want to do it, try this version, not the show's version, because you will, you don't have a senzu bean to heal you. Another thing I loved was how he can like put his strength stats, and it's just like, hmm, hey, let me get a buffer. Like, you know, I'm just gonna like steadily get buffer. And I read the, um, well, I guess it's not a manga, it's, it's a, like a webtoon, webtoon I believe. So I read the webtoon after the episode, and I was just like, okay, let's see how this goes. And so I learned how he progresses going forward, and I like how there's a moment where he's like. I, I don't want to get too jacked. I just, I'm feeling like this Bruce Lee frame that I got going on. And it's, it, it works. It works. It works for the type of stuff he's trying to do and the fact that his strength is going up as well, where it's like, 
it's that thing I've talked about about before on this channel where you can increase your strength you can increase your functional strength. You don't have to build a bunch of muscle to be like a strong guy. Like again, it's like that whole thing of like, who's stronger, prime Mike Tyson or prime Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is a stronger individual just cause he's so jacked and for the stuff he lifted, was able to lift and all that jazz. But Mike Tyson, while smaller muscles, he's still big, but he can just lay out like he has such destructive power. So it's just a different thing. I talk about that in like different videos. So I like that whole notion for him where he's like, yeah, I wanna get stronger, but I don't wanna get like too, too jacked all right like that that was kind of cool also another thing i love about it is you could pretty much make your own solo leveling challenge for yourself like for him he has to do saitama's workout every single day and then like all these other stats to like you know help him to improve but you yourself could do different things to improve like whether you be a bodybuilder a martial artist a dancer a rock climber or something you know like something that you have to do specifically tailored for your craft you could do something daily that helps you build up so that you can like, you know, solo level and get to those results for yourself, like whatever that may be for yourself. And I think that's absolutely inspirational in that regard. Now, originally I was gonna hold off on checking this out until later on, because if you watch my video here, I just talk about how my tastes have changed since I've grown up as like a millennial and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of anime fans who are millennials like watch that video and are like, bruh, you're speaking to my heart. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out for yourself. It's uh, one of my proudest videos that I've done. But uh, it was one of those situations where I, I don't know, like the isekai thing i'm just more into like uh slice of life comedy or sports stuff i don't know those are just something that really grabbed towards me these days like of course jujutsu kaisen season two i thought that was just fire while well, i didn't care much for season one just because there was a lot of stuff where i was like eh. It's just kind of ant to me, but then season two was just like, bruh, this is so fucking like heat. I love this, and it, it was just one of those situations where when I start a new, um, I guess shonen isekai whatever, I'm like, okay, what's the you know starter pack? How's this gonna go? Okay, whatever. How's this gonna go? But the fact that he started doing you know Saitama's workout, I was just like, okay, okay, you got me. So I just wanted to do a quick video talking about my thoughts on solo leveling's training scene, just because a lot of people, and I do mean a lot of people, have just been spam messaging me like. Talk about soul loving talk about soul loving yes your friendly neighborhood jacks blade has seen it uh i've been working on videos for a while like i have um a certain video on the grounded big three i call them I, like <laughs> you'll you'll see very soon coming up i got a cool thumbnail coming for it and then next month i'll finally have my um spider verse video done i think next month just fits the contact better and then uh for people out there who want to like actually solo level and improve themselves for new year check out my programs right here down in the description box i'm giving away a free one right now just to help people because I really want people this new year to start improving themselves. But tell me in the comment section down below, what did you think of Solo Leveling's first three episodes? Like, are you looking forward to it? Is this something where it's like, oh, I kind of prefer the webtoon? Or just let me know. And if you made it this far, type in yeah, Solo Leveling. Solo Leveling, this works right now <laughs> if you made it this far in the video. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to work on this script I'm writing for a bigger video that I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun with these bigger videos and stuff like that. And uh, the other video on the Grounded Big Three should should be out sometime either this week or next week and yeah thank you all for watching and remember like i always say keep calm booyah on and don't forget momentai i hope you can solo level and improve yourself just as much as our boy here but yeah just wanted to talk about that hope you have a great day peace